Newcastle United are in the Champions League. Say it with me. Say it again. It sounds unbelievably good. We've known it for a little while. Newcastle have been one of the best three or four teams in this division for most of the season, particularly after that run after October. We went into the World Cup break in third place. We stayed in third place for a long time, dropped out for a little bit when we had a little wobbler, but we're allowed. It's okay. We proved that we don't have to be perfect all of the time to finish in the top four in this division. So what do we do next? We should celebrate, we should reflect. It has been an unbelievable achievement by these players, by this team, by the coaching staff, the manager, the staff at the club, the owners and, and the fans, of course. Just want to say like a special thanks to those players who were with us in the bad times. I'm talking particularly Miguel Almiron, Fabian Shaw, Sean Longstaff, uh, Jacob Murphy even are the starters. You know, Fabian Shaw, uh, and, and even Matt Ritchie and Jamal Lascelles and Martin Dubravka on the bench, like they put in the hard yards when Newcastle were shit, when we used to celebrate being pretty average because being average was better than getting relegated. Those lads have, have, have been an integral part of this club's journey. They kept us in the league when times were really tough. You know, someone like Fabian Shaw thrived under Rafa Benitez. Sean Longstaff made his, bra- uh, his, his, his debut then. Miguel Almiron was signed in that season and, and, and was unbelievable. And then it all went to shit, but those lads were still there. They were still given 100% every single week, which is why, you know, we have to celebrate and, and thank those guys in particular. All the new class lads, we love them. It's, it's, it's recognition for an unbelievable scouting job uh, that whoever at the club has done, because Dan Ashworth might not have been there for a few of these lads, but to get the likes of Botman, Bruno, and uh, Alexander Isak, and them, for them to fit in so quickly in the Premier League. Wow, what a job everyone has done at Newcastle United. We weren't great tonight against Leicester, still should have won the game, but we weren't great. Didn't have to be because all of the hard work or the vast majority of it had been done before tonight. What a season it's been. What a journey it's been. I'm just so proud to be a Newcastle fan. The flag display was incredible tonight. That's going to be here for... European teams next season, they're going to wonder what the fuck they're going to do to try and beat this Newcastle United side at home in front of that crowd. Doesn't happen very often under Eddie Howe. I can't wait for it. I'm so buzzing that all of you watching as Newcastle fans are going to experience this as well. We deserve this. It's been a long time coming and all of the credit in the world's got to go to Eddie Howe and Mad Dog Jason Tindall. Those two together have created something extraordinary and it's one of the great overachievements in the Premier League of the past 20 years or so. You know, I, I can't actually remember the kind of the last non-top four team to qualify for the Champions League apart from Leicester in their incredible season. Um, whatever happened to them, it just hasn't been done. You know, normally teams need a top four, top three wage bill to do it. Teams like Spurs, teams like Liverpool, teams like Chelsea this season have got those resources. They've got that wage bill. Newcastle United probably have the seventh or eighth biggest wage bill in the league. You know, Newcastle have spent a little bit of money over the past few years, but not loads of money. You know, West Ham and Villa are teams that have spent um, proportionally the same as Newcastle United over the last two seasons. So to be at the time of recording third in the Premier League, to be in the Champions League, we've got to enjoy it. The The journey doesn't end here. I don't think Newcastle United are going to be a club like Spurs, for example, where getting in the Champions League every season is the be-all and end-all. We should enjoy it. We should embrace it. But this is just one part of a journey that we're going on right now. Our lads, our owners, our players, our manager will be thinking about next season and how we can improve and keep heading in the right direction. And that's that's as exciting as playing in the Champions League, for me, anyway. Just want to say thanks very much for watching these videos. Really appreciate it. Started this new new YouTube channel not that long ago. It's gone really well. Uh, Please hit the subscribe button if you do like them and, uh, and leave me a comment. But Newcastle United are in the Champions League. That's all that matters. Enjoy it. You should do. We deserve this. See you next time.